Okay. An old thing created long ago by divine will, but the power of um, that gave birth to it is lost in the darkness. However, the relic still lives on. Hmm, that has changed. I wonder what secret is hiding. Would you like to know how? Bring me five vials of magic essence, and I will revive the object. Ah, uh, what? He doesn't have it. Blood vial. So he doesn't have any. Huh. Uh, can I help you? I appreciate your offer. I have reason to believe that somewhere in Canabras there is a manuscript authored by an elf from Kionan who witnessed Earthfall. For personal reasons, I would like to examine it, but no matter how hard I try, I have failed to find it, even in the Blackwing Library. I only found men a mention that the manuscript exists and is held somewhere in the city. I found a page that might interest you. I see myself. I see myself. Young, energetic, able to see. Oh, God. Have I found the key to my past? Finally, I will find out what my own mind has been hiding from me. Mm, thank you. And please follow me to my... Uh, uh, follow me to my story. Let us embark on this journey together. When they are leaving, the people of Kionan faced the upcoming Earthfall and admitted that they, they were incapable of handling this disaster. Proud rulers, artful crafters, brave warriors, wise mages, and skilled healers. All of them hurried to the gate of Savirian. Uh, uh, however you pronounce that. Uh, looking around fearfully, a clean, safe world is waiting for them here. My people decided not to fight for Galarian. I am ashamed, and I am sorry for them. Their hearts wavered in the face of the mm, catastrophe, but my will is strong. I am staying. One second, chat. Okay. My, yeah, my kinfolk are looking at me angrily. How, how dare I diminish their decision with my recklessness? My choice makes them cowards, traitors to their own home. One of them, my former mentor, looks at me bitterly. He hands me a neat notebook with a tree bark cover. In case you change your mind, with a heavy sigh, he returns to the line of those departing. Forgive me, brothers and sisters. I watched the gate of the Severian mm, uh, 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 close, separating me from them. It's time for me to go too. I open my master's notebook. These are the, his notes about traveling between worlds. In case you change your mind, he hopes the burden I shoulder voluntarily would be too much. I will lose heart and find my way to mm, uh, Severian. Uh, that will never happen. My mouth set stubbornly. Uh, my mouth set su set stubbornly. I tear my master's notebook to pieces. I use my force, mm, forced pride as a shield against my fear of what is to come. Why did the elves decide to flee, not fight? Uh, they are afraid to lose what they have. They, uh, they were rulers, long-lived and powerful. They valued their lives and sunshine too much to enter the fight with the aftermath of Earthfall. Your mentor is a mage, then you must be, uh, must be too, yes? Yes, I am an archmage, and this title is well-deserved. I have acquired delicate mastery and succeeded many years of magic. But curiosity has always pushed me toward new knowledge since the first day of my apprenticeship. What is the Severian Stone? 
a magnificent crystal bent into uh, bent into an arch by a mighty hand of an ancient divine creator our great gate to other worlds it breathes power it's dreams of eternity why are you oh, why are you angry at your fellow elves i spent many hundreds of years in kionan i have always uh, admired the way my kinfolk cared for the forest that was uh, that was our home but the rest of the world seemed to mean nothing to them. But I love Galarian, all its places, all the forms that it manifests in. I traveled widely, mm, widely, and then came home and told my kin and kinfolk about my travels. But they weren't interested. They only cared about Kionan. Their lack of desire to hear about the wider world makes me sad and angry. What happened next? Earthfall happened at night. I am standing at the, mm, at the top of the uh, top of my tower, many miles to the north of Kionan, and I see a blaze far in the south. I hear a horrendous rumble. The air is groaning, giving way to the uh, to a huge rock rushing down on my world. Then a blow, vibration, the penetration mm, uh, penetrates everything, reaching down to the bowels of Galarian and up the vault of the sky. Crunching bones, blood from burst vessels, mm, filling my eyes with darkness. Drowning in timeless mm, timelessness, along with the countless denizens of Galarian. Never before have we been so united in our feelings. When I come around, the darkness remains. My first terrible thought, I'm blind. But no, little by little, I begin to see the stone wall. I'm alive, but why is it so dark? The answer is quick. The smell of ash everywhere. The great burnt sacrifice filled the air with incinerated particles of what was recently... The continent of Aslant. Wow. Great clouds of ash covered the sky, cutting us off from the sun and the moon, dooming us to dusk at day, at day and complete darkness at night. My heart sinks with fear. Treacherous thoughts fill my mind. Why did I stay? Why didn't I run like everyone else mm, when I had the chance? I clenched my teeth and stand up to watch Earthfall proudly, oh, like the last Archmage of Kionan should. Will my world really perish like this? Will I perish? No, that will never happen. I am still alive and I can fight Earthfall and the darkness. Not run from it in a blind panic like my kinfolk and my cowardly teacher. But what can I do? I will not stop the disaster. I will hardly be able to save empires from the er, destruction. What can I do? I am but one Archmage, powerful and weak at the same time. Wow. Wow. Getting a lot of lore here, chat. Getting a lot of lore here. What is Earthfall? A disaster of untold proportions. An unborn planet dropped on Galarian by blind fate or summoned evil will. A blow so strong that the continent of Aslant was destroyed within moments, turned to ashes, wiped off the face of Galarian. In this burnt sacrifice, clouds of ash and dust are born, stealing our sun with out the warmth of our star, the air cools, the soil is barren, dark creatures crawl out of their lairs to rule, and the most frightening thing, without the sun, all hope dies in the heart. And this is the age of darkness. What was the tower, you know, what was that tower you mentioned? It's my retreat to the north of Kionan, my home away from home, my, obs my observatory from it. I watched the stars, and when they were corrected, uh, correctly aligned, the other worlds as well. Here in the north, on the Eastlands, I found the highest mountain and built a tower on top of it. One clear, on clear days, I could see the mist, uh, mist over the lake of mist and veils in the east. That's how high I was. I don't know. Another thing, my opponent, Earthfall, is much stronger than me. It is merciless. It does not simply destroy life. Kills an era, ending the greatness of Galarian civilization. They will sink into oblivion, but can be forgotten as if they never existed. I need to think. Forgive me, I shouldn't have raised my voice. The story was much harder harder than my, many before. Most most likely because I played the main role in it. It is so strange to see myself, feel the emotions tearing up and tearing me up inside. Mm, those that I felt a long time ago and not remember them. Like a like a split, I became both the storyteller and the main character. Too bad the story ended at that moment. Please, if you find other pages, 
Um, bring them to me. I might, I might be able to shed some light on my past, and we will find out how my story ended. Perhaps even why I forgot it. Thank you for your stories. <sighs> oh boy, chat. On the League of Inspiring, uh, of the Inspiring Card. Okay, uh, the dragon's feet. Find something else that once belonged to Trendelev. Okay, that'll be... Okay, so all this stuff needs to be after. Wait for the liberation. Cadabras. Uh, this little fishing village. Okay. The outcast. Find and kill Kaylisa. Common cause. Uh, the burning city. Okay. It is definitely time to talk to Trenelon. Uh, Erebeth. What is our strategy for the attack on the Great Garrison? I shall lead the rest of my forces in a frontal assault. This will distract the enemy enough to let you use a secret passage and reach the Wardstone. Destroy it before the demons turn Iomide's gift into a weapon of the Abyss. Most of the allies you found will join my forces, but you can expect a certain amount of support, uh, uh, support from them. The problem with Desnans is that you never know what to expect from those daydreamers. Their honorable prior, Ramian, claims he has had a vision in which his goddess was putting demons to sleep. I'd like to hope it wasn't merely a dream. Uh, in these dark days, the most unlikely allies join forces to fight the common foe. All tieflings are treated with prejudice and cadabras, let alone the smugglers and the thieves of their kind, and yet they are on our side and I'll make sure that their contribution is not forgotten after the victory. They'll be of little use in open combat, but they'll help you spot secret doors and warn you about traps. One second, chat. I need to check something. <laughs> Sorry, chat. One second. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Just to make sure, I want to pop on out, make sure there's nothing going on. And there's nothing else I need to do. Yeah, 
Okay, I just want to make sure there's nowhere else that just that re that just popped up. Okay, I guess that's it. All right, so I suppose go ahead and get our uh, go ahead and do this. Go ahead and do this. Everything is ready for an attack on the Great Garrison. Time to attack. As the story unfolds, you draw closer to events that have the power to change everything. Some quests and locations may become unavailable. Proceed when you are ready. Okay. So that's letting me know if I do this, there's no going back. And that'll be the end of chapter one. Um, chance I'm not gonna be able to okay these two are essentially coincided I don't think I can recruit anymore uh the cold waters and the outcast I think I'm gonna actually take a look at those Okay, so then about you. All right, one second, chat. I need to grab some tissues.
One second. Forgot my glasses. Okay. Uh, let's head back to the market square real let's quick. Let's see what we can do. Do do do. Here we go. This is just to make sure or something. Just to make sure. The last one for me. What the hell? Guide my blade. Oh. This is slightly awkward, but okay. You crossed the wrong monster. Surrender or else. Was not expecting this. Into the fray. Was not expecting this. Damn you. You are today's sacrifice. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good, Halton. How are you? Plagued horse. Do you 
beautiful. Uh, all good. Looking at a new build I could do for as much as I love sign. It might be a bit too much for a first playthrough. <laughs> Understandable. Right now, I'm just... Uh, I want to get a couple quests done, but uh, unfortunately... I'm a little confused. One second. Okay, but uh, I feel like I'm missing a bunch of. I I seriously feel like I'm missing a bunch of stuff. I really do. But there's a good chance that I might actually have to. Hmm. Might be a... Oh! Think between Hell Knight and uh, Hell Knight with Devil Mythic Path or Dragon Air Scion. Oh, nice! Hey, Lisa! Ah, here we are. The, health, uh, the elf hunched up next to you is clutching a small but deep punctured wound. Her appearance is quite remarkable. Her skin is blacker than any uh, Grundy's... Um, uh, her teeth are fanged and her hair is as gray as crones. Her crimson eyes glare at you with a gleam of malice. What are you looking at, soldier? Like what you see? Who are you? Ah, uh, there's no point in you knowing, soldier. Trust me. The answer would only bring you misfortune and still don't... Uh, mm, still wouldn't put you, put any of you, any use to you. I'm a wanderer. Uh, you won't ever meet again. Who wounded you? Haven't you noticed? The city is burning. There's a battle going on. I was wounded by a cultist. Her wounds are so strange. Not not at all like mine. They uh, they burned me from the outside, but you were burned from within, I think. It hurt, didn't it? Yes, I can see that it hurt. I'm sorry that happened to you. I can heal you. Don't. I can handle it myself. I don't like it when strangers cast spells on me can't leave you in this state to the abyss with you thanks and everything but the next person who uses magic on me without my permission gets an arrow to the eye you're a drow aren't you he flinches looking at you with undisguised sorrow if you have a keen eye for these things don't you soldier right, you guessed correctly I am a drow but don't think that gives you the right to judge me there is much you don't know about me and never will and never will know believe me it's for your own good. I know who you are. You're Kaylisa, a cultist, of, a cultist of Dreska. That's a lie. I loathe demons, and I kill anyone I come and kill any I come across. Take a closer look at the elf. She's clearly holding something back, but she doesn't appear to be lying either. Whatever it is she's hiding, her claim that she hates demons sounds quite convincing. You're not lying, but you're not telling me the whole truth. What? 
Uh, was I supposed to pour my heart out? You have your war, soldier. I have mine. You're fighting chaos and madness, and I, I am fighting lies and hypocrisy. But we are both willing to die for our cause, aren't we? Why would, why would Horn slander you? Uh, you're asking questions that are dangerous in, in and of themselves. I urge you to stop. The more you know about me, the higher the chances of the tra that a traitor's dagger will find its way into your bag. I believe you. Horn is at the defender's heart. You should keep clear of that place. It was never my intention to set foot in there. Farewell, soldier, and thank you for believing me. Oh, there we go. 